Dispensers for instant lottery scratch tickets have been appearing empty in stores all around the district. Customers' options are now limited on what games they can play. Customers want more variety, but um, right now we have only certain choice. The problem is that DC Lottery hasn't been able to reproduce the tickets because the city has yet to settle on a new contract that meets CBE minority participation requirements. As a result, the city has begun to run out of scratchers. Director of the DC Lottery, Buddy Rugal, fears this issue will drive customers to Merlin and Virginia instant lottery locations. We've been struggling for years to compete effectively with them. We've made a great deal of progress. We don't want to lose that progress. Chief Financial Officer Jeff DeWitt has sent out a letter to council proposing a short-term agreement which will exclude minority contractors for a year to buy time to settle on something more permanent. We had News 4 Tom Sherwood meet with DeWitt where he made it clear on exactly how much money will be lost if something isn't decided soon. If we were not uh, able to replenish the instant tickets for the rest of the year, it's approximately six million dollars that we're, that we're looking at. So we're looking at a process to move forward sometime in April. We are currently waiting to hear feedback on DeWitt's proposal to move forward. However, in the meantime, places like Han's store in Anacostia will continue to take a financial hit. We are actually losing business. Gradually it went down. In Washington, D.C., Kelsey Tisdale, News 4.